This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Glory be to God. Turn with me, royal priesthood family, to Ephesians 6 and 11. I'm going to read it from the NIV translation. I pray that all is well with you all today. I continue to pray the blessings of the Lord be your portion this day. Those blessings that make it rich and add no sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Ephesians 6 and 11, NIV translation. Glory be to God. I just want to stop and say thank you to each and every one of you all who have been faithful and loyal and in agreement with us. Standing 31 days consecutively, marching forward with the things of the Lord, the sword of the Lord in our hands. Amen. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. I'm going to read it again. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. I'm going to say it like my grandmother used to say it to me. You cannot fight spiritual battles in the flesh. I'm going to say it again. You cannot fight spiritual battles in the flesh. So I want to highlight and really remind my royal priesthood family along with myself, I am too a partaker of this word, that when God says to put on the full armor, I want us to properly be dressed in the spirit so that we can be able to walk out what we need to walk out in the natural, in the spiritual component. What do you mean by that, prophet and seeker Esther Grace? Come with me. The pieces of God's armor, and I'm right, I'm reading my notes. There's so many notes. I want to be able to get through this in a short period of time. The, the full armor of God or the, the clothing of God that we're speaking about, our spiritual clothing, is number one, is the belt uh, of, that, that girds around our waist. And this represents the truth of God that dispels the lies of the enemy. Because how many of us know that Satan is the father of lies? But when we dress ourselves with that belt, with that with that's girded around our waist, it dispels all lies, all uh, illusion and disillusion and deception of the enemy. The breastplate, which is the righteousness, this covers your heart. Um, it's the seat of our emotions, our self-worth and trust. God's righteous is the breastplate that protects our hearts and ensures us of guarantee approval. The foot gear is the readiness to spread the good news, the gospel of peace. Not messy, not drama, but not confusion, not chaos, not meddling, not over here, over there, starting drama, sowing this, uh, seeds of discord. But this foot gear, it prepares you to spread the good news. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the good news. I don't care what the enemy is trying to taint or paint with the word of the God. We're Christians and uh, ambassadors of Jesus Christ. If anyone operates under a, a spirit of confusion, a spirit of messiness, a spirit of drama, they are not true representatives of uh, Jesus Christ. I'm going to say it again and slow down. If anyone operates opposite of this, of this full armor and they're always in drama and they keep confusion going and they keep mess going and they say they come in the name of the Lord it's a lie from the pit of hell because this tells us right now that it's the good news that brings about the peace of God in Jesus name this shield is the faith and I want to highlight this with God's perspective we can see beyond our circumstances and know that ultimately Victory is ours, and we have to do this by faith. 
the helmet is the salvation glory be to god see satan wants us to doubt god he, see he comes after our faith he comes after our belief he comes after our trust in god and so when we put on that helmet of salvation that covers our mind and it shields our mind and protects our mind from the doubt and disbelief and the wiles of the enemy the sword which we've been marching forward consecutively for 31 days we're marching forward with the sword of the lord not our word not the word of somebody else but the word of the lord this sword is the spirit the word of god i want to read this the sword is the only weapon of offense in the list of armies there are times when we need to take the offense against satan when we are tempted, we need to trust in the truth of God's word. I want to conclude it with this, family. In this Christian life, we, we battle against principalities and powers. These are powerful evil forces of fallen angels headed by Satan, who is vicious fighters. I want you to see 1 Peter 5 and 8. To withstand these attacks, we must depend on God's strength, not on our own strength, not our own intellect, not in our flesh, but in the strength of God. I encourage you all to stand with me for Ephesians 6 and 11 NIV translation. And I want you to check your armor. If you're missing the breastplate of righteousness, I want you to put it on by faith today. If you're missing your foot gear, I want you to put it on by faith today. If you're missing your shield, I want you to put it on by faith today. If you're missing your helmet or your sword or the belt that's, that's girded around your waist, I want you to put it on by faith because you have to be properly dressed. We have to be properly dressed to stand against the wiles of the devil and to remain victorious in Christ Jesus. I pray that you all were blessed. I pray the Lord go before you this day and that he make every crooked place straight and every rough place smooth. And remember, Jesus is Lord. I love you, but God loves you more. Amen.